Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks to these good guys here who came to clear the yard here early in the morning. Because of that, we're not snowed in. So the weather outside isn't the greatest yet, but it's a lot better than it was last night. Did you guys watch yesterday's video? Oh, buddy, buddy, slow down. So what's the point of going so fast? And you had to stop right there anyway. And your taillights are covered in snow, man. Now you're blocking me in here. I was about to get going. It's when gonna be one of those days. The good thing is we're not snowed in. The weather has improved. And uh, I've talked to Britt back at home. The weather is clear back at home, which is an hour and a half north. So we're gonna get moving. I wanna go home. I've got my tail lights cleared off. Went around, made sure all my tail lights are clear. Almost every single one of these trucks I've seen pull in here, their tail lights are completely covered with snow and you can't see them. It's very dangerous on the road, especially in a snowstorm. What if you come up to uh, some stop traffic because someone had an accident or something? There's no way to let drivers behind you know that you're stopping because your tail lights are covered with snow. That is just asking for accidents and deaths to happen. So I know they always get covered up with snow, mine do too. Uh, just remember when you do pull over, just a friendly reminder, just go back there and clear them off. Take a glove or a, a rag or something. Just, go and just clear the snow off and uh, make sure you don't get rear-ended. All right, everybody. Let's pull ourselves out there nice and slow. This trucker wants to go home. I'll admit this is not my favorite time of year. Yesterday, I wouldn't be able to see those trees up in front of me there. It was so bad. I could barely see this road to get on here. The thing is, yesterday I checked the weather forecast. The weather said it was clear and it got better as we went north. They lied. It got worse. But my wife is up north right now and she says it's clear there. I trust her. I don't trust the weather, man. sit here all day waiting out the storm and then I wouldn't get to go home at all. Tomorrow I've got to get to work again. Daylight, so 
Well, it's safer than traveling through this at night. We'll just take it easy and we'll be okay. US 59, 
it goes through the bush, which shelters you from all the wind. I'm sure you can find routes like that in all different regions as well. It's wherever there's more trees, you're going to get less wind, obviously. Sure. Driving across the open prairies and plains is uh, going to be pretty brutal. The wind, there's nothing to stop the wind. I'm in the yard and I'm watching these van drivers that came in the same time as me. They're already leaving, going home. Must be nice, just drop your trailer and run. Here I am like gearing up for the snow apocalypse and the winter apocalypse because I got to go out there and get my equipment off the trailer because it's going to get unloaded. I got to roll it all up and put it away all nice and neat and then I got to go put the trailer where it's supposed to be and then get all my equipment off, get my tarps off, put the tarps on my, on my catwalk, tie it to my catwalk, then go to my shop. Must be nice to be a barn door swinger this time of year. But I'm not complaining because I like flatbeds. I like flatbeds, right? Not everybody can be a flatbed driver. It takes only the best. Or the craziest, you know? We could just be crazy. Here goes this guy. Heading off home. Okay, don't wave. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, you rub it in. Rub it in! Just to go home, park the trailer and go. I do love my job, though. I do. Even on the cold days, this is what we do. This is who we are. This is our identity. It doesn't mean we have to like it. But this is what we do. Winter will be over eventually. It just started. Shouldn't have said that. But it, it, it'll be over eventually, right? I mean, soon summer will be here. Beaches. Yeah. Warm water, swimming swimming pools, slides. All I can see is snow in front of me, so this isn't working at all. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I'm gonna run home and stay warm. It's supposed to get down to minus 27, minus 30. What did I say before? It's supposed to get down to negative hell froze over. So we get to test out our new furnace in our house real good tonight. So thanks for hanging around. Short little vlog. I was supposed to be home yesterday, but Got snowed in. That's uh, the way it is. This way it goes. It's winter time. We gotta head out tomorrow again. So join me tomorrow. I'm gonna come hook onto a trailer here, and hopefully the brakes won't be frozen on us, so we can get going, go do another loop, and get another week done. Gotta keep working. Just because it's a little cold doesn't mean the bills stop. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, it's minus 27. Oh, don't worry about your bills. Don't worry. No, you don't have to pay them later. We'll pay them for you. Who's we? I don't know. Anybody? You want to pay our bills? So that I don't have to work in my next 20 <laughs> Not gonna happen. So we still have to pay our bills. Still have to go to work. It is what it is. No use complaining about it. Though we're gonna do it a little bit anyway. We're gonna complain about something, right? Otherwise the people in my comments don't have anything to complain about if I'm not complaining. Because then they complain about me complaining. You see it's a little circle, circle of life there. That's how it works. So that way we all have something to complain about. Don't forget to hit that like button on your way out and catch me back here tomorrow. It's gonna be cold. <laughs> I need your warmth. Come keep me warm, please.